Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Royal Thai Government, I'm honored to open this special meeting on the regular migration in the Indian Ocean. I would like to extend our warmest welcome to our delegates. We are here today to address the issue of regular maritime migration in our region in a collective and sustainable manner. I think the large number of migrants that are trying to reach our countries uh, has focused our minds and indeed our hearts on the urgency of developing a uh, responsible and humane uh, response, uh, measures that would help us to address the mixed migratory flows across the Bay of Bengal and the Andaman Sea. Uh, in this regard, IOM and I know a lot of our other partners, we have all welcomed very much the joint statement from Putrajaya on the 20th of May. We have also very warmly endorsed the priority that you're giving to saving life, which is the uh, ultimate uh, goal of all of us, and then to try to help those with life-saving assistance. Um, we want to uh, continue to advocate a comprehensive holistic migration policy that will take us beyond the immediate uh, concerns that we have to a longer term policy that will address these issues. Uh, our thesis at uh, IOM is first of all, and I'll get into this in a minute, is that large scale migration is inevitable owing to a number of driving forces, particularly the demographic imbalances. Secondly, it is highly necessary if skills are to be available, jobs to be filled, and economies to flourish, and it's highly desirable if we have the right policies, namely policies that are humane uh, and responsible. So our thesis is that migration is not so much a problem to be solved as a reality to be managed. And we have to make sure that we are managing it, and that's why I'm so happy and so honored to, to be part of this meeting today, and I know my colleagues from UNHCR and UNODC feel the same way we talked about it. UNHCR will be here to help and support you. As, as you know, along with our partners, the International Organization for Migration, the UN Office for uh, Drugs and Crime, UNODC, we have put forward a number of proposals for action, which we hope will be given serious and urgent consideration today. As you, Deputy Prime Minister, said yourself, saving lives must be number one priority. We are very much encouraged by the commitments expressed in Putrajaya last week and by some very concrete action that was taken since then to strengthen search and rescue, to allow disembarkation, and to enhance or establish reception facilities. The gathering here reaffirms the importance we attach to addressing the great challenge that currently we are facing. Bangladesh, along with others, is deeply concerned over the unfolding humanitarian tragedy in the Indian Ocean. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's government considered this to be a direct challenge to our zero tolerance approach to human trafficking. We are determined to go all the way to stop and reverse this trend. It is perhaps time for us to say enough 
is enough. Within less than two weeks, we have received more than 1,800, sorry, 1,800 people in Aceh and not Sumatra. The people and the local government have so far shown their generosity and compassion in dealing with the sudden impact of irregular migrants to their region. Firstly, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand, recognizing the issue of the current influx of irregular migrants that is affecting our countries, cannot be addressed solely by them. I call upon the international community to uphold their responsibility and urgently share the burden of providing the necessary support to the three countries in addressing the problem. Secondly, subject to the assurances by the international community to provide the necessary support Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand propose the following. The international community will be responsible in providing Malaysia, Indonesia, and Thailand with the necessary support, particularly financial assistance to enable them to provide temporary shelter and humanitarian assistance to the irregular migrants currently at risk. <laughs>